All righty, recording is in progress. I am Nancy Friedman, founder and chairman of Telephone Doctor Customer Service Training, and also we have serviceskills.com. And if those of you who have been watching, you know we call this out of the box interviews. Why do I call it out of the box? Because I like interviews. I was a big Larry King fan, and he used to interview all the movie stars and the big people. He says, hey, I know absolutely nothing about you, so I want to ask my own questions. And it always seemed to be a little more fun in real life. So today I have a guest, which I know I don't, I've never met her, but I've got enough information on her that is dangerous. And I thought, well, I'm still going to ask my own out of the box. So help me welcome, loud applause, please, the detective, for diagnosis detective. Am I saying that right, Tammy? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. And why is her picture up there? Why is she not with us? Good question. I'm glad you asked. Um, those of you who know me, we had a little technical difficulty. <laughs> and she said, is it OK if I put my picture up? We can still do the interview. I said, great, great detective work. That's fine. So you got a beautiful picture up there, Tammy. Thank you. Your eyes are sparkling. Your hair is great. Uh, meanwhile, I had to take off my earrings because I had to blur the back. It's a long story, folks. Okay, so <laughs> we have about 15, 20 minutes to go into what I wanted to find out about you because we, we met on LinkedIn and we both have a weird sense of humor. Can I say that? Yeah. Okay, great. So We clicked immediately. <laughs> yeah, we did, and I'm glad we did. One of my first questions, uh, I'm an old franchiser, but I'm out of the business now speaking only at franchise conferences. You've got a good franchise background behind you, and we will talk about that. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is I think we clicked because of Island Murata, Florida, down the Florida Keys. Yeah. And one of the questions I that is asked so many times for people who either go there on vacation or live there is how did you find Isla Murata? How did you happen to find Isla Murata in a short version because we don't have a whole lot of time? My grandfather, actually, he um, started taking his kids when they were young. And then when grandkids came along, he just had to take all of us there, too. And so I have been going to the Florida Keys most my entire life. And there were. Hello. I think we lost a little audio there. You've been going to the Florida Keys all of your life. Go ahead. Yes. I've been going to the Florida Keys basically my entire life. And it was my grandfather. He took his kids there. He took all of his grandkids there. And I was going there two or three times a year back when I was growing up during school breaks. Um, people say, oh, I've been to the, I've been to the Keys. I've been to Key West. That's just one place of, I don't know, probably 150, 200 miles. Oh. We're in Isla, yeah. we're in Isla Morada, which is uh, about 90 miles south of Miami, 90 miles north of Key West, so 90, 90 I'm good at math. And as, as you well know, it's only one street. There's only one highway. In, in and out, bingo, that's it. Uh, so you got it from your heredity almost, right? Pretty much, yeah. I, uh, I joke saying I'm actually a Floridian trapped in an Ohioan body. <laughs> What part of Ohio are you in? I'm in Cincinnati. Cincinnati, good. I love that city. It's a fun city. One of our condo neighbors is from Cincinnati. Anyway, bottom line, Isla Mata, Florida is in, I think it was you yesterday who said, why should we talk about Isla Mata? We don't want anybody to find it. I know, our secret hideaway. <laughs> it is our hideaway. And it, years ago, we stayed, if you're familiar with the resort, the Islander. Yes, absolutely. I've well, gone um, wave running there. Oh, well, you're ahead of me. The, the, the rooms used to be 79 bucks. Of course, they're 400 now a night. They remodeled it. But it used to be, it was so 1950s when we went, even in the 2000s, uh, I was the remote. I mean, they, they didn't have a remote for the television. Sets, so my husband was, hey, put on channel four. Anyway, uh, I'm glad you I'm glad you know about Isla Mirada. It is hard to explain to people, but it is a place. It's our happy place, and I hope it is for you. Yeah, we stayed in Marathon Key, um, and off of Marathon Key is this like little tiny island called Key Colony Beach, and oh, we yeah. would rent a duplex there on a canal and go to the Cabana Club. And some of the best memories in my life is is there. Isn't that the truth? 
Have you ever heard yeah. you know, a, a little more south of Marathon, you take a 90, a, a, I don't know how long, out in the middle of the ocean called Little Palm Island? No, I don't think I've heard of that. That's where President Kennedy, or not just him, but that's where they filmed the story about President, President Kennedy, Little Palm Island. It is an island. I mean, it is, it, that's a whole other conversation. It's just a little island. I think there's 20 little huts there's no phones, there's no television. You do go there just to relax and talk. Yeah, um, disconnect. Or, you know, it, it just, anyway. Okay, so we got Isla Morada out of the way. Uh, and I'm glad you know about it. Are you going down there soon or no? I haven't been there in a very long time, but, um, you know, it would probably be a good idea and bring back lots of great memories that grandfather is no longer with us so no i hope you do i hope you do so the diagnosis detective how did that come about <laughs> well i went on a business trip as a freelance business consultant and would come back with a little unwanted gift <laughs> i contracted an environmental bacterial infection Ooh. through the hotel shower um, but finding all of that out was quite the journey, um, Excuse as me. well Excuse, as what I went through. I'm sorry to inter I'm interjecting, not interrupting, because I will yeah. continue. Did you say through the hotel shower? Yes, ma'am. And there was another franchisee, um, who was there taking the training that I was there assessing. And he contracted an infection through his ankle the same way that I did through my breast. We were on the same business trip at the same time in the same hotel. Wow, that's another story. But so oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and you've got so much to share. I, I wish, I hope we get some of it in. So, how did you find out? I mean, you took a shower and something happened, or yeah, I ended up contracting the bacteria through the ducts in my right breast. Um, I had symptoms shortly after my return from that trip. Um, was diagnosed with a condition called granulomatous mastitis, but it's, it's known as GM for short. And doctors had no idea how I contracted it, but a conversation that I had with a radiologist put this ignition or ignition in me and I went searching for answers. I knew there was something causing it. And that's when the whole diagnosis detective was born. I found the test in my research, um, that would be able to identify the bacteria. And then like Aaron Brockovich Jr., I traced my steps back to find out where I caught it. That is amazing. Did you ever tell the whole yeah. story? I've, I've told the whole story a multitude of times, both in my book and you know different media interviews. And it, it's definitely quite the story for sure. <laughs> well, I know you've got a, a I haven't read it and I have, you know, I've seen your pictures. You've got a wonderful book. Um, go ahead and, and pitch that for a moment or talk about it in case anybody, because I mean, there's women and men, I guess, who could get yeah. it. Uh, men have breasts and sometimes, yep. you know, it's, it's certainly not as widespread as, as, as us ladies get stuff, but I want people to listen to what you've got to say. So if you've got a minute or two to explain a little bit more about GM, that would help a lot of people. Yeah, I think a lot of us take for granted the dangers of our own environment, for sure. I mean, I used to be quite the fearless person, never really, you know, looking at certain risks with getting in an ocean or a pool or a hot tub or a lake, um, even a mud race, right? This is a great way to contract GM is through a mud race. And breastfeeding is also a, another way to contract oh. this uh, disease. But there's different subtypes of granulomatous mastitis. Um but it is more prominent in women. Um, men, though, can also get it. But it is considered a benign chronic inflammatory breast disease. Thank God. Um, roughly <laughs> affecting 2.4 per 100,000 population and growing. Um, there's a multitude of women that I've met um, virtually, of course, all throughout the world that have also been faced with this disease, unfortunately. And that's when I found an opportunity. Um, to really provide a valuable tool for not only patients, but for doctors, because 
it's very poorly understood and underpracticed in the medical community. In fact, I've had a multitude of surgeons who have purchased my book in hopes that they could help their patients. Isn't that wonderful? Are you able to share some of the symptoms? I'm losing. I apologize, everybody. We a little secret here. Uh, there you are. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I had some computer issues yesterday, which is, I guess, one of the reasons my friend can't get on. And my nobody needs to know. Nobody cares about my. We'll talk about your situation, but I, <laughs> I got the picture back. Okay, so bottom line. Are you able to share some of the symptoms with the, with the, I don't know how many are listening, but it, it, somebody could, could get helped with something that you're going to say, and that's important. Yeah, so some of my initial symptoms, um, first, honestly, it felt like I was almost septic. Like if I were to describe being septic, that's what it felt like. Um, I was feverish. I had chills. My heart was racing. Um, I was shaking. I knew something was wrong. Like my yeah. body was communicating to me, hey, <laughs> there's a problem here. Right, right, right. Um, Thank God it does that. Yeah. And then when my breast was hurting, which is abnormal for me personally, I did a self breast exam and found this hardened area. So it was like part of my breast was almost like rock hard. And then I found a small lump and that's when I knew I couldn't waste any time in contacting my PCP and she ordered a mammogram and an ultrasound. And at first it screamed cancer to my medical team because it presents as cancer often on imaging. That's what it looks like. And when they did the core needle biopsy, that's when it resulted granulomatous mastitis and um, during the actual disease process, it forms abscesses. So some of those symptoms, it's redness, it's pain, it's these abscesses that end up in just ooze different fluids like blood, pus-like fluid. I'm sorry for the details there, but it is what it is. And well, and if somebody, you know, there, I have a friend who wrote a book called uh, Sideline, How Women Manage and Mismanage Their Health. And so many women go with pain or bumps or lumps and don't do anything about it because it's nothing it'll go away so you know thank god you did something about it and sue's book sidelined uh love to put you two together so now you're feeling better worse yeah i will be five years post-surgery this april and i've once i had the surgery and got off the wound back that i had for six weeks i have been essentially in remission Terrific. Thank that that's a great ending. So your book is on Amazon. Yes, ma'am. More information. Go ahead. Yes, it's a, yeah, Detective. it's um Diagnosis Detective Curing Granulomatous Mastitis um, by Tammy Burdick. My doctor, Dr. Kelly McLean of the Christ Hospital Network here in Cincinnati, was also a personal contributor to that book, as well as a pathologist that I invited okay. to give a contribution. I wish you much success, obviously, with the book and obviously with feeling better. But I also know you have, we've got about five more minutes to talk about uh, your entrance into franchising. I was an emerging franchisor and uh, five franchisees, four we let go very quickly and one we kept too long. But bottom line, it was a wonderful experience. It just wasn't for us. So I went into speaking at franchise conferences and I love hearing more stories about people like you who got into franchising either by mistake because of their family or passion to do so. How did you get into franchising? Yes, that's um, an interesting question. Um, so my father was an executive and he was forced into an early retirement situation and was like, I'm thinking about investing in a franchise. Um, would you be- well, wait, I need to know what made him think that. I mean, because he was at an age where he wasn't really ready to um, retire, but ah. he didn't want to go to work for somebody else. And he felt it would be better to have like a turnkey operation. And he approached me and wanted to know if I'd be willing to partner up with him. And so I said, yes. So we had a home inspection franchise together, but 
honestly, that wasn't like my lifelong dream. So um, <laughs> when he was ready to retire, he decided, you know, to dissolve the, the franchise. And then I went um, and became employed as a franchise associate with a local franchise system here in Cincinnati and then worked my way up to chief operating officer. You're a dynamic lady with whatever GM is. It didn't let you stop, it didn't stop you from anything. All right. I did take a short break now when I had that. I beg your pardon? I did take a short break um, career-wise when I was going through GM, but that's part of the disease process. I would imagine. I would imagine you would and should, but that's why that's why you look so pretty. Look at the picture. Thanks. Um, so you're working now as a franchise consultant. Am I right on that? If somebody needs Yes, ma'am. I'm a freelance um, franchise business consultant. Um, a lot of my clients tend to be more kind of in the emerging or startup realm of things. Um, you know, I think with a lot of franchise systems, when they're new, they're kind of like, okay. I'm ready to franchise. Do? What do I do now? <laughs> and that's when I well, come in. You're absolutely right because we started, which was 15, 20 years ago, there were no franchise consultants. There were people just by themselves say, I'll help you. But there was no IFPG, there was no Francer, there was no Tammy, there was no, there just wasn't. Uh, and if there was, they, they weren't exposed as much as they are today and part of the franchise community, et cetera. Um, yeah, and there's a there's you know a difference my, between my uh, internet. I apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and there's a difference between franchise sales consultants and then franchise business consultants. And I'm more of a consultant on the business side of things, so programs, processes, procedures, mentorships um, to executives that are new to franchising. So, so you're looking, you help the ones that are already there. You're not looking to to. For Nancy, oh, I, I'd love to so identify the right franchise opportunity okay. to. Okay. And there is a big difference. There is a big yes. difference. Well, I hope it's springy and summery, almost spring and summery in Cincinnati. We got a, like a rainstorm coming here in St. Louis. My husband showed me that there's all sorts of green dots around St. Louis. Gonna yeah, happen. we're going to get that <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> uh, one more time on where where anybody who wants to get more information on. I'm, I'm not even going to, I have the words in front of me. Granulomatus. Granulomatus. You got it. Really? Yes, ma'am. Good job. Wow. I did good. All right. Anyway. You did better than me, and it took me forever to be able to say that word. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry you had to learn it, but for those, I know. People, <laughs> for those people who are not affected but know somebody, men or women, go to Amazon, detective, diagnostic, diagnose, go ahead, say it. Diagnosis Detective Curing Granulomatous Mastitis. By Tammy Burdick on Amazon. Yes. Do you want to get a hold of you? Do you want to say how to get a hold of you or you want to go through Amazon? Sure. All the business professionals can find me easily on LinkedIn. I'm on there every single day. Love that platform. We wouldn't have met if it wasn't for LinkedIn. So right. thank you very much, LinkedIn. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at diagnosis detective dot Tammy Burdick. And then I also have a public Facebook page um, more catered to GM, which is granulomatous mastitis book and tips. You're an amazing lady. Thank you for joining us and out of the box. I hope you had as much fun as I do. And I learned and I hope you as the audience did. Um, enjoy yourself. Don't leave me. I'm going to talk to you after we close the recording, which will be, oh, you know what I did? 